You know, my only regret is I'm not there to see your reactions. But then again, I have a very fertile imagination so I can picture the scene. You're all going to regret and rue the day that you ever crossed swords with Alistair Crane. Or disrespected me. Or disobeyed my orders. So long live Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald Crane. Her word. Will be law. <laughs> this can't be happening. It's unbelievable. Father, you bastard. Did you hear that, my little angel? Your mommy is in charge. Your mommy is the boss of everything. No, I, I, I just wish I could see the looks on all of your faces. <laughs> and it's true. My uh, beguiling young wife is as duplicitous as they come, but then I respect a quality like that in a successor. And no, she has never promised me any wifely loyalty. Well, she never said in the first place she would ever do that. You see, Teresa's the type of person who uh, sets her mind to a goal it never wavers, no matter how many odds are against her. She's not like you, Julian, who goes around hugging trees all of the time instead of coming up with a profit for Crane. You see, Teresa's very much like me. Nerves of steel, despite being a woman. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to tell you this, but right now, you're all going to be under the thumb of my self-serving wife. What she says goes. This is going to be the gospel. The gospel according to the very unsaintly Teresa. And if by chance you're all watching this uh, DVD and I'm no longer among the living, I just wish that they really, they really do have monitors down in hell. Because I don't want to miss one single solitary minute of all the heartache that Teresa is going to visit on each and every one of you. <laughs>